Good evening, and welcome to Daybreak Warrior's Navajo Word of the Day. So today's Navajo Word of the Day is Convention. Since today is the closing of the Democratic National Convention, I figured the perfect word to kind of mark this season is Convention. So to say Convention in Navajo, you say Nsago Asla Ale. Nsago Asla Ale. Asla Ale means meeting. And Nsago means the big one. So what it really means is the big meeting. Nsago Aslahale Convention. Now since it is campaigning time, the different parties have names in Navajo as well. To say Republican in Navajo, you say Chiye Delohi. Chiye Delohi, Republican. The word actually means elephant in Navajo, or it means the one that ropes with its nose. Chiye Delohi, and that's the Navajo word for Republican. And the same way the word for Democrat is Zanez, Zanez, Democrat. And that word is actually the word for mule in Navajo, Zanez, Democrat. Now, if you want to use these words in a sentence and you want to say the Democratic National Convention is being held in North Carolina, you would say, um, Zanez, a North Carolina de Asla Ale. Zanez, a North Carolina de Asla Ale. The Democratic National Convention is being held in North Carolina. Now these words change based on when they happen. Asla ale means the meeting is happening right now. Asla azli means the meeting already happened. Asla azli. So if you want to say the Republican National Convention occurred in Florida, you would say chiye adalohi a Florida de asla azli. Chia de Lohi A, Florida de Asla Azli. The Republican National Convention was held in Florida. Past tense. Another useful term to learn would be Yilwas. Yilwas means running. Yilwas. Now that can be physically running, Yilwas, or it can be running for office. Yilwas. Now before we use that word in an example, let's learn the words for president. To say President of the Navajo Nation, you would say Washington de Alange Dasatahagi. Washington de Alange Dasatahagi, and that's the word for president. To say Vice President in Navajo, you would say Washington de Eke Dasatahagi. Washington de Eke Dasatahagi, and that's the word for Vice President. Now, if you wanted to say President Barack Obama is running for presidency. You would say, "Nihinatani Barack Obama, a Washington de alajenta sadahagi yayelwas." Nihinatani Barack Obama, Washington de alajenta sadahagi yayelwas. Now, the reason I use the word "natani," "natani" means leader. Nihinatani means our leader or our president. When you are recognizing somebody in authority on the Navajo Reservation, you would always say Nihinatani. So if you're talking about your grazing committee leader, or if you're talking about the chapter house president, you always begin with Nihinatani, and then you would say their name. That's to kind of like um, let people know that they have authority, that they're a leader of some sort. So since you're saying President Barack Obama, you would say the same thing in Navajo, Nihinatani, Barack Obama. Same thing as saying President Barack Obama. Our leader, Barack Obama. That's what it would sound like. So you say that basically out of respect. To use Mitt Romney in that example, you would say, Mitt Romney a Washington de Alange da Sadahagi Yayilwas. Mitt Romney a Washington de Alange da Sadahagi Yayilwas. Mitt Romney is running for president. Same thing. Now, since we're already using the example of Yilwas, this can also go beyond the scope of running for office. You can also say this for somebody who wants to run for Miss Navajo. For example, Leandra Charlie from Steamboat is running for Miss Navajo this year, 2012-2013. And I'm just using her as an example. So if you want to say Leandra Thomas is running for Miss Navajo, you would say Leandra Thomas a Miss Navajo yayilwas. Leandra Thomas a Miss Navajo yayilwas. She is running for the title of Miss Navajo. Same thing, you can use that word in that sentence. Now, at the Democratic and Republican conventions, 
each of these different parties were stating that we want our candidate to run for president. To say that in Navajo, it's more complex than the verbiage used here. You'd have to use more um, different tenses of these verbs. But for you to get a sound of what that would sound like, to say the Republican Party nominated Mitt Romney to run for president, you would say, Chiye de Lohie, Mitt Romney, Washington, de Alange da Satahagi, Binye, Nidil with Dedini go la Yedini. To say that one more time, you would say, Chiye de Lohie, Mitt Romney, Washington, de Alange da Satahagi, Binye, Nidil with Dedini go la Yedini. So it can get really confusing when you're using all of these terms in their correct format. And that's just to give you an example that to, you can say these things in Navajo, but to say more complex terms, they require more manipulation of other words. But that's just an example to show how these words are used. So to close out, to say convention in Navajo, you would say, Nsago asla ale. Nsago asla ale. Present terms. Present tense, I mean. And also, I just want to end with one thing. This is going to be my slogan to remind you to vote. Your vote is valuable, so vote. Have a nice day.